Hi, I'm Brian from Aramax. Today we'll be discussing how to repair an LR50 linear diaphragm compressor. We recommend the following maintenance kit to be performed every 6 to 12 months depending on operating depth. The tools needed to complete this kit are a flathead screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, 7mm nut driver, and a small pick tool. Included in the maintenance kit, two inner diaphragms, two diaphragm front boards, two diaphragm backboards, four protective washers, and two outer diaphragms. First, flip the compressor upside down. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws holding down the compressor cover. Save the screws and lock washers. Use a flathead screwdriver to loosen the seal of the gasket on the top of the compressor cover. Gently pull on the bottom of the compressor to separate. Flip the whole unit over and remove the compressor cover and set to the side. Next, use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws on the top cover plate. Make sure to save the lock washers on the screws. Remove the cover and set to the side. Inspect for any dust or wear on the inside of the unit. Also take note, the armature should be aligned equally between the two stators when maintenance is completed. Next, pinch the spring clamp to remove the rubber boot attached to the outer diaphragm. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws holding the outer diaphragm into place. Make sure to keep both flat washer and lock washer with each of the four screws. Remove the outer diaphragm and discard. Use a 7mm nut driver to remove the nut on the inner diaphragm. Make sure to keep the nut and the lock washer. Remove and discard the diaphragm backboard followed by the inner diaphragm. You can see with this unit, the inner diaphragm has a slight tear that was causing the compressor to not produce air. Discard the inner diaphragm. Finally, remove and discard the diaphragm front board. Next, grab a new diaphragm front board. The diaphragm front board is the one with the four pegs. Apply the protective washer on the top diaphragm front board. The protective washer is designed to prevent wear to the diaphragm. Grab a new inner diaphragm and align the four pegs with the four holes inside the inner diaphragm. Push the front board firmly into place and make sure the pegs come through evenly on the reverse side of the inner diaphragm. Align the two lines in the front board to be pointed to the notches on the inner diaphragm. Install the inner diaphragm into the armature with the two lines being vertical. Next, install the second protective washer onto the diaphragm, followed by the diaphragm backboard. Ensure the flat side faces outward. It can be helpful to tilt the compressor to keep the washer and diaphragm backboard into place. Make sure the protective washer is installed evenly between the diaphragm backboard and the diaphragm. Install the lock washer and nut. Use the 7mm nut driver to securely tighten the nut. Next, reinstall the outer diaphragm. Align the hole to point towards the rubber boot. Reuse the four screws that were removed earlier to secure the outer diaphragm into place. Start the top two screws first. This will help make it easier when installing the bottom two screws. Securely tighten all four screws by going back and forth with a Phillips screwdriver. This will ensure an even seal around the diaphragm assembly. Finally, reinstall the rubber hose and spring clamp. Now that this side is complete, repeat these steps for the second diaphragm. 
After installing both diaphragms, ensure the armature is aligned equally between the two stators. If it's not, the inner diaphragms were not installed properly and will need to be reinstalled. Reinstall the four screws with washers to the top plate and securely tighten. Reinstall the compressor cover. Flip the entire compressor upside down and secure using the four screws with washers. Tighten down firmly to complete the installation. Now that you have completed your maintenance kit, this is a great time to replace the air filter. We recommend to do this every three to six months. Remove the lock nut and the top cover. Remove the old air filter. Install the new air filter. Reinstall the top cover, ensuring the notch on the top cover lines up with the notch on the top of the compressor. Finally, reinstall the lock nut. This is Brandon from Aramax, and today we've just finished and completed the maintenance of an LR50 linear diaphragm compressor. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.